Morgan Spurlock's book, Don't Eat This Book, Fast Food and the Super Sizing of America. In 2002, two teenage girls sued McDonald's because they had become obese and sick from eating the food there. Ashley Pellman was 14 years old, 4 foot 10 and 170 pounds. Jasmine Bradley was 18, 5 foot 6 and a whopping 270 pounds. They both suffer from diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, and elevated cholesterol. Ashley ate happy meals from McDonald's three to four times a week, while Jasmine enjoyed McMuffins for breakfast and a Big Mac for dinner. That's just one example of the obesity epidemic that's taking over America. We need to take steps toward healthier eating. So we first must educate ourselves about the dangers of fast food and the skyrocketing obesity rates that we are faced with today. One quarter of American adults eat out at fast food restaurants every day, according to Fast Foods Hidden Dangers. The dangers of fast food, says the average teenager, is 20 to 40 pounds heavier than they were 40 years ago. Eating out contributes heavily to heart disease, which is the number one cause of death in the United States. One half of America's adults and a quarter of its children are obese. This rate has doubled from 1991 to 2001. Obesity-related illnesses will kill 400,000 people this year alone. Diet and obesity are linked to increased risk for certain cancers, including breast, colon, and kidney. The United States is the fattest nation on the earth. People's eating and exercise habits have gotten worse over the years. People are eating more and exercising less. Americans consume about 200 calories a day more than they used to. This might not sound like a lot, but that leads to a 20 pound weight gain each year. So if obesity is such a problem, why aren't we doing anything to stop it? Well, fast food restaurants are everywhere. According to Don't Eat This Book, Fast Food and the Super Sizing of America, 96% of school-aged children recognize Ronald McDonald. That's second only to Santa Claus. And more children recognize the McDonald's arch than recognize the Christian cross. There are 177,000 fast food restaurants in America. They're even in stores such as Walmart and hospitals designed especially for children. According to Fast Food Nation, Fast food restaurants make $124 billion each year. That's more money than we spend on higher education, personal computers, and new cars. It's more money than we spend on movies, books, magazines, newspapers, videos, and music combined. Fast food is also really unhealthy. A Burger King, a Whopper with cheese, fries, and a large vanilla shake has 87 grams of fat and 1,480 calories, all consumed in about 10 minutes, according to Restaurant Confidential. The dietary guidelines recommend about 65 grams of fat a day, so you're getting 22 grams of fat more than you should have in an entire day in just one meal. A thick burger at heart is the same as eating five cheeseburgers from McDonald's. Fast food does terrible things to your body. It makes you lethargic, whiny, and grumpy. It leads to a decreased mental status, and the grease causes this. The salty fries increase your blood pressure. Fast food clogs your arteries, and the calories lead to obesity. If you were to leave this burger out and fries, it wouldn't ever mold. There's so much other stuff besides food in there that it maintains its shape and color color perfectly even after years, according to Don't Eat This Book, Fast Food, and the Super Sizing of America. So if fast food's so bad for you, why aren't we doing anything to stop it? Well, there are some healthier alternatives. Subway has their seven subs with six grams of fat or less that have about 260 calories in them. A grilled chicken sandwich at Wendy's has 300 calories. That's over 700 less than a double Whopper with cheese combo meal from Burger King. You can also prepare easy meals at home or pack leftovers for lunch. You can take snacks on the go, but healthier foods in restaurants are more expensive. A salad can cost over $5. There is an alternative to this, though. Restaurants can give healthier options at a discounted price 
and then make the unhealthier food selections cheaper or more expensive. People have a million different reasons to go to fast food restaurants. They're cheap or they taste good. As college students, we don't even have a place to cook. There are many reasons to go eat out, but there are more reasons to stay away from these unhealthy fast foods. Some may say that they can't afford to stay away from fast food restaurants, but with the health risk involved, I think Americans cannot afford to keep going to these fast food restaurants.